Hello students, Mr. Harrison here from school. I want to walk you through the agenda for Monday and Tuesday, October 19th and 20th. Um, here's your learning goal at the end of the lesson that you will be able to, students will be able to identify, there's your action verb, identify the basic parts of a valid experiment. Anyone can run an experiment that doesn't give them valid results, but if you want to have your experiment give you valid results, you've got to have certain things in there. Those things include constant, a control, independent variable, dependent variable, hypothesis. There's also things like repeated trials, um, a conclusion, but, but the main things that have to be there in the process of the experiment are right here. Um, here's your turn-by-turn -turn directions. We're going to do the bell work. We're going to go over the scientific method vocabulary because vocabulary, specifically in this unit, gets in people's way more than anything else. The concepts are actually very simple. Um, we're going to do some vocabulary practice with the wiser me. Uh, we will do an intro to experimental design in general, the concepts there. That won't be quite as vocabulary heavy, but we'll kind of touch on the vocabulary within there. And then we're going to do the experiment slideshow, which has exit questions right here. Those are going to be graded. And then if we have time, we'll do a shoulder summary at the end where you're, you're going to explain this to one of your classmates. Um, just in case you're wondering why this is important, here's our big idea for the day. That... Science must be logical, testable, reasonable, and repeatable. Logical, testable, reasonable, and repeatable. And that's what this whole scientific method, scientific investigation um, unit is all about, is making sure those four things are there and, and we get valid results of our experiment. So go ahead and mark this as done and click on to the next part of your module.